Welcome to today's presentation. Well, in today's presentation, we are going to talk about logarithms as a topic, and particularly we are going to look at applications of logarithms, and the type of question we have here today is, so it reads, given that logarithm of 4 is 0 0.6021, and logarithm of 6 is 0 0.7782. Without using mathematical tables or a calculator, evaluate logarithm of 0 0.096. So we already given logarithm of 4 and logarithm of 6. So these are very, very important. 4 and 6. So that will help us a lot in approaching this problem. Remember, we are told to find logarithm of 0 0.096 and we need to relate the number 0 0.096 to 4 and 6. So this is how we are going to go about it. Once again, we are asked not to use mathematical tables and not to use a calculator. So solution logarithm of 0 0.096. Remember, this is common logarithm. So silently we have 10 here. So it is to base 10. So this can also be written as logarithm of 96 over 1000. So again, this is to base 10. So once you have expressed this as a fraction, that is 0 0.096 as a fraction, we can therefore find the factors of 96. So express 96 as a product of 4 and 6. We can be sure that 4 and 6 will be factors of 96. Remember, if we have 96, we'll say uh, 4 goes into 96, so 4 goes here, uh, that is twice, so 96 is just 4 squared by 6. So this information here is very very important at this particular point. So we are struggling to express it as product of 4 and 6 because in the equation we are given log 4 and log 6. So that means at this particular point we can say logarithm of 96 over 1000 is just logarithm of 4 squared times 6 over 1000 and for 1000 we can express it as 10 power 3 and this is still to base 10. Applying laws of logarithm we can therefore also have it this way. Now, multiplication here would apply, or rather would imply addition of the logs. So we'll have logarithm of 4 squared to base 10 plus logarithm of 6 to base 10. And then division here means we subtract. So that means we subtract log 10 power 3 oh sorry sorry for that so we can have it here minus logarithm of 10 power 3 to base 10 so that simply means for this first part we have these two can come and multiply so that we have twice log 4 to base 10 and then plus log 6 to base 10 and finally we have minus so this 3 can come and multiply by log 10 to base 10 so 3 log 10 to base 10. Remember in the equation when we were beginning we had logarithm of 4 we also had logarithm of 6 and we know that logarithm of 10 to base 10 that is just 1 so from here we'll have twice log 4 to base 10 and log 4 to base 10 is simply this so that is what you're going to replace log 4 with so we have 
zero point six zero two one and then for the next part we have plus log six and log six we had as zero point seven seven eight two and then minus so this is log 10 to base 10 is 1 so 3 times 1 that is 3 and then when we multiply this first part we have 1.2042 and then we'll have to add that to 0 0.7782 minus 3 so allow me to express this as 3.0000 there is a reason why. So at this particular point, we are going to deal with the characteristics separately. So characteristics are the values that we have before the decimal point. So we have 1, 0, and negative 3. <coughs> so we'll have 1 plus 0 minus 3. So that is 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And for the logs, we'll not write that as negative 2, but instead we have it as bar 2. And then we'll have point. And then next we add uh, point 0.2042 plus point 0.7782 minus point 0, 0.0000. So that should give us, so we have 2 point, or rather 0 0.2042 plus 0 0.7782, that should give us 0 0.9824. So I want to believe you have understood how we've added, so I've considered the characteristics added separately, 1 plus 0 minus 3, and then for the other one which is mantisa, that is after the decimal points, I've also added them separately. And then finally we have this. So for the characteristic we had negative 2, but for logarithms, we don't write it as negative 2, but we write it as bar 2. This is read as bar 2. So, that is what is expected. Otherwise, you will also not be wrong if you just add them straight away and get your answer as negative 1.0176. I believe you will not be penalized for having your answer in this form. That will still be correct. Finally, we are come to the end of this question. I want to thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.